This video has been sponsored by Project Battle. Today we're back inside of Project Battle, the new upcoming amazing card battle game, and I'm teaching you how to build your decks. What is up my friends? My name is Echo and building decks is the foundation of Project Battle and today I'm going to teach you guys how to do it and then I'm going to go into a private battle with that deck. Fingers crossed I can bring in a victory and put together a deck that's actually solid. Before I go any further though in the video guys, I want to remind you to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell for daily mobile uploads and for more videos coming for Project Battle named to be announced soon. Hope you guys enjoy this stuff and are anticipating this game as heavily as I am. Remember, I am going to have guides, overviews, and how-tos on this game moving forward over the next however long. I'm enjoying it, and I know that you guys will too. So when you're trying to edit or create a deck, you're going to be over here on this screen. It is the edit deck screen. We're going to come on over here and you could do one of two things. You could either create a new deck or you could choose a deck from your scroll right here to edit. What we're going to be doing today is creating a brand new deck. So we're going to hit that plus button. We're going to hit on create a new deck. And the first thing that you need to do when creating a new deck is choose the hero that you're going to build your deck upon. And in choosing your hero, you have to choose one of three hero abilities as well. So as you scroll through, you will notice all the options I have for building up my deck for the heroes that I'm going to use. I will tell you uh, that it's probably easier to create decks that are up on the top using the red and they get more difficult the lower you go as far as complicated decks and how to play your deck so for me being a new player and if you're watching this video you're probably a newer player as well we're going to stay up top in the red using ryu now i have three choices that i could do when choosing his ability his super this one is going to be the hadouken it deals seven damage to an enemy unit we have the the Ren Key, which is going to add two damage to friendly units and cards in your hand. And then we have the Metsu Shoryuken, which gives a combo to a friendly unit. Now, notice combo is in yellow. You could click on that and get more, more details. Deals damage twice when attacking. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to build a deck based on this one. So we're going to confirm Ryu and the Shoryuken ability. Now, as you guys are going to see, I'm going to have... 30 slots to fill up right here to create my deck. You can see that number right here. And you have your cards with the round tops. These are gonna be enhancements to the cards that you have on the playing field, the cards that are being played within the deck. Then you're gonna have your creature cards, which let me give you an example, is one right here like Dan, and they have the flat tops. And what they are, you'll notice on top, the diamond shows the mana that it costs to play or the elixir the top card two that's a triangle that's going to be the attack the damage done with the attack and down below the blue shield the three that's going to be how much attack it can withstand before being taken down so it's basically its defense now what you need to do is vary up the amount of support cards along with your attack cards which are going to be your creature cards so what i like to do i like quick decks things that you could do more quickly you know things that you could do fast you could put three of each of these inside of your deck so i'm going to start out with something that is uh, very low cost and i like these freezing fangs right here gives a friendly red unit plus one attack now that brings up something special we're going to add three of these right here okay to start things out but you can also in the bottom you'll notice these blue buttons they can show you only green cards they can show you only purple cards you can narrow it down now it's highly suggested at least right now in the beginning meta of the game that if you're using a red hero that you use red cards to support it so uh, that's not set in stone you don't have to do that there could be builds that are multi-color but it's just recommended as of right now notice that the freezing fangs i use three it's at the deck limit so i can no longer use any more i'm gonna go over here uh, over here to suicidal charge and i'm gonna use three of these as well because i like the low cost cards to play you could play them quickly this gives plus two or minus two a friendly unit so we're gonna go ahead and give three of those right there to help support my cards that i'm gonna be playing on the on the battlefield 
And now we go into these two elixir cards or two mana cards. And without going too in depth into which ones I'm gonna choose, so I'm just basically today showing you how to build a deck. I'm not showing you a good deck to build. Those are gonna be coming soon as well. We'll just kind of mix these up. So we'll go ahead and we'll put two of these in right here. Now notice they are going in in a particular order, but when you're playing your deck, it doesn't matter. They get mixed up all the time. So you wanna have enough support cards. We're gonna go with two of the True Faith, and I like this one, the Merciless Attack right here we're going to go with two of those as well this is taking up 12 of 30 spots in my deck so i don't want to go too much further i want to kind of go in there right now and start putting in some cards that can actually do the attack some of the actual attacking cards and again i like those lesser expensive cards that i can then buff up with my abilities that i was just putting in there so we're going to go ahead and we're going to put three dans in only a three mana card we're going to go along and put in three djs as well that's offering a two attack and a five shield for only three costs as we scroll on through notice there are a ton more of these cards there are a lot to hang out with and what i'm going to do right now is choose some that i maybe haven't used before these are all in the three elixir position now we got the demon we're going to go with two demon and we're going to go ahead over here and come this is one i've never even used before we're going to put two of those in as well because it'll be kind of fun to watch these actually take place and happen in the battle now you want some expensive cards as well. So as these are shown, basically in order of how much they cost. Oh, I like this one. I like this one. I'm going to have to go with the Scar of Humiliation. We're going to put two of those in there as well. Just, just had to do it. And tell me these cards aren't beautiful, guys. Talk about a card collecting game. This one offers amazing looking cards. So we're going down. Now we're getting to the more expensive. The cost of four right here. But they get even more expensive. All the way down, we can get to the most expensive card, which is eight and now the reason that i like having more expensive cards are if i have them early in on the hand i could play them so what we're going to do right here we're going to go with the engulfing hado and this one deals four damage to all enemy units we're going to add one of those in right there and this is leaving me with five more slots we'll go with one more right here that's a little bit more expensive maybe a four card let's find one that we like and a lot of this deck building guys is all about figuring out the cards playing the cards learning the cards and seeing what you like to work together we're going to go right here the dual dragon had dough and let's go right here with the chain fire we're going to add one of these cards leaving me with four slots left in my deck so we're gonna go right up top again and choose two more of these two cost cards. How about, we're gonna go with one of these right here. We're gonna grab one of those and we're just mixing it up. So we are gonna grab one of these as well. And we're gonna go with another one of these merciless attacks because I like it. 30 of 30, we have our deck. It is complete. So we're gonna quit the deck editor and we're gonna name the deck. We'll call this one the tutorial deck since we're doing the tutorial right now. There we go, confirm, tutorial deck is created. Now let's take it into battle and see if it can actually work. All right, so we're going to go into a practice round right now just to try and see if the deck that we built together here today can actually hold its own. We're gonna try our best, see what we could do. Hopefully we get some nice card drops in the proper order. We have a lot of those support cards and I'm a little concerned that we're gonna to get too many of those and not enough playable characters, but we're gonna see what we got right here. All right, so look at this right here, guys. Four support and one that we could play. We're going right away in the center and we're gonna go support that right off the bat giving an active response to the opponent, seeing what we could do. Now we do have another playable card that's gonna be coming up very soon. And we're gonna see what I could do right here. Counting down and here we go. Things are starting out well. This is gonna be a two attack. I'm gonna put the defense right here. Now the whole point is to try and not lose your cards. Now I may be having a problem here. We're gonna see, looks like we're gonna drop our card right here to help support the two cards that I have on the playing field right now. And I'm gonna be able to play more if need be. We're gonna go ahead and um, well, we're gonna go drop this one right here or count look at the buff he has a plus plus question mark so we're not even sure all right so we took out each other's cards problem is i don't have anything to spend right here 
and they lost that battle but here we go coming in with a three strike he's coming in with that one strike he has the eight shield so that's not going to be too devastating i may actually sit here and try and build up a little bit just so i could play it safe you know what we, we took one strike uh, we're going to go up top right here, drop one of our cards, and then we're going to go with the Sting right there to try and give a little bit of a buff to my cards. Remember, guys, if you don't know what the cards are, you could click on them and it will show Scar of Humiliation active card deals three damage to an enemy hero. We're going to go ahead. Actually, we can't drop that right there. We're going to go with the Fire's Roar. Drop that in and hope that it can actually do what needs to be done to bring in the victory in this one. I am, uh, I have only taken one shot. My opponent does have less health than me as well, so we should be okay. Looks like they're down to nine, but the, uh, I'm, I'm pretty low right here. We got a three strike coming in right in the center lane. Will we actually be able to do anything right here? Top cards cancel each other out. We got another strike right there, and we're going to be coming in up top. I'm going against the top lane because this bottom lane, even if it keeps striking me, it's only striking with that. That one point so it's only taking out one health each time it does strike we're gonna go ahead and buff the cards that i already have actually yeah we're gonna have to buff what we have right here there we go active response and you know what i've been neglecting i've been neglecting my hadoken or my shoryuken i believe it was we want to make sure that we can get that shoryuken in right away and here we go we're gonna go with that as well just continuously buffing that card i only need one more strike on the enemy and we should be able to bring in the win because i have that hero ability being ready to be used seem to have forgotten about it guys but let's see if i could do it right here we're gonna go and let's drop it down Oh, they're using theirs on me, but we should be okay. We, we have a lot of health left. We're going to go ahead. We're going to drop this right here, drop the hero ability, and we got the target. We're going to go ham on them right now, guys. Will they do something to protect themselves, or will they take the strike? We're not really sure just yet. Dropping the active response. I'm going to go with the hero ability one more time. Actually, we're going to go right here, just trying to stack on top, make for as powerful of a push as I can get right here. We're going to go, and uh, we're going to go right here waiting for the opponent still waiting to use my ability 19 to 2 they only have two health left trying to bring home the win with my hero let's see if we could do it right here and uh, we're gonna go with another active response buffing my card making it as strong as possible making that one strike a powerful one five on five we're gonna go right here we're gonna make it even stronger there we go building it up building up my one card my last shot at bringing home the victory right here we need to use this hero ability as well it's so exciting it's so much fun let me know what you guys think of this game down in the comments below and if when it does go live if you're gonna actually be downloading it for yourself okay well where is that hero ability there we go we're gonna use it right here can i actually just use it right on them no i gotta drop a card first and then we're gonna use that hero ability right there it looks like this could be it will it be the end of the game right here will i be able to bring in the victory no not yet come on now they're making me fight for this one guys it's making it too exciting it should not be this good the my the, the game should not be giving me this hard of a time we're gonna go right here Oh, we got to go right here just like this. We could probably end the game right there with that one. Will that be the end? Nope, we're still waiting on them. Yes, down to zero. We got them. We got them, guys, because we didn't want to have a, uh, a loss right here with you guys. That would have really stunk. So the deck worked. Is it the best deck in the game? Probably not. But now you know how to put a deck together and the fundamentals behind building a deck. Let's get back to the main screen. So I hope you guys found this video today both enjoyable and useful. I'm going to have more tutorials and more guides for you moving forward so that you could learn how to be a boss inside of Project Battle and completely understand the game for when it does go live. I love playing the game. It's so much fun and hopefully I can play with you guys someday soon. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and ring the bell and also throw a big like on the video so that you can uh, well, help it out, help out Project Battle and help out my YouTube channel. Also guys, before before I head out, make sure you check out this video. It was my first video ever made for Project Battle. Make sure you check it out. Show some love on that one as well. But I'll see all of you guys back here later on today with another video. Until then, be good.